Welcome to my channel I aim to upload these news top 10 summaries daily. Links to all articles in the description if one grabs your attention. From Daily Mirror under the main headline of corpses packed onto trains at night. Summary of headline article. The morgue in Maza, which is about 60 kilometers from the Ukrainian border, is reportedly overflowing with corpses and hospitals are also said to be overflowing with wounded. Russian soldiers morgue full of Russian soldiers is corpses, shipped away at night to hide death. Tola morgue in Belarus is full of bodies of Russian soldiers as they are transported there at night to not raise suspicion. It has been claimed. Hospitals in Maza, which is about 60 kilometers from the Ukrainian border, are also said to be overflowing with wounded Russian soldiers. It is claimed that more than 2,500 soldiers' corpses have already been shipped back to Russia from the Homel region of Belarus as of March 13. Putin has previously been accused of not taking the bodies of dead soldiers home to hide the country's true death toll in Ukraine. The Russian military is reportedly using mobile crematoriums to incinerate dead soldiers, amid claims Putin is trying to hide the scale of his war. From the Guardian under the main headline of West must not normalize relations with Putin again. Says Boris Johnson. Summary of headline article. The West must not make the mistake of normalizing relations with Vladimir Putin again after the invasion of Ukraine. Boris Johnson has said, as he warned that allowing Russia to win would herald intimidation from the Baltic to the Black Sea. Citing the world's response after Putin's invasion of Crimea in 2014. He said, I know there are some around the world, even in some Western governments, who say that we're better off making accommodations with tyranny. He didn't really believe the semi-mystical guff he wrote about the origins of the Russian people. Nostradamus meets Russian Wikipedia. I think he was frightened of Ukraine for an entirely different reason. He was frightened of Ukraine because in Ukraine they have a free press and in Ukraine they have free elections. From Evening Standard under the main headline of Watch. Russia, fires hypersonic missile at ammunition depot. Summary of headline article. A video filmed from a military drone shows the moment a large Ukrainian ammunition depot in was hit by a deadly hypersonic missile. It is the first time Russia has used hypersonic missiles since it invaded Ukraine on February 24. A Ukrainian military official has confirmed that Russian forces carried out a missile strike on the warehouse on Friday. However it is to be confirmed whether the missile the Russians used was indeed Kinzhal, the county's latest hypersonic missile, or some other kind. The Kinzhal aviation missile system with hypersonic aeroballistic missiles destroyed a large underground ammunition depot in the Ivano-Frankisk region, said Russian Defense Ministry. Spokesman Igor Konashenkov. From the Guardian under the main headline of Russia-Ukraine war latest. 190,000 civilians evacuated from frontline. Says Ukraine. As Poland calls for EU-Russia trade ban. Live. Summary of headline article. 1800 two weeks ago. Elania Januelua fled Kyiv as the Russian invasion intensified. Making her way across Europe. The 24-year-old hoped to be reunited with family in London. Yet for 10 days she has been stranded in a French port, because she is Nigerian. Ayanualua is among a growing number of refugees who claim the British government is ignoring black people who fled Ukraine. Their experiences have again raised the issue of race and the UK's welcome to refugees. Prompting claims that ministers would never have unveiled last week's humanitarian sponsorship. 
scheme for Ukrainians had it not been aimed at white Europeans. From the sun under the main headline of Neighbors Heard, Loud Bangs. Summary of headline article. Neighbors Heard, Loud Bangs, before a 19-year-old female student was found seriously injured. Inside a London University halls. The murdered girl is understood to be a student at nearby City University of London. Students living below where the girl lived on the fifth floor of the private student accommodation. Said they heard loud banging hours before she was found dead. Around 180 other students live in the six-story Arbor House student halls. Which is next door to the City of London University. Owen Newby. 18. A first year investment finance and Dominique Hodgett. 19. Had been sleeping when they heard loud banging around 3 a.m. on the floor above. From Evening Standard under the main headline of William and Kate cancel trip to Belize Farm after. Opposition from villages. Summary of headline article. Teehee Duke and Duchess of Cambridge have cancelled a major visit planned for the start of their Caribbean tour after local residents voiced opposition to a royal trip to their Belize village. According to reports, a protest was staged on Friday opposing the royal visit to Acta, Ilha Cacao Farm in Indian Creek, village in the foothills of the Maya Mountains. William and Kate cancel trip to Belize Farm after opposition from villages a number of issues have been reported by local Belize media outlet Channel 7, including a claimed dispute between residents of Indian Creek Village in Belize's Toledo district and Flora and Fauna International. The conservation charity William supports is patron. The problem is, it's in Indian Creek Village which has been in open conflict with Flora and Fauna International which owns an adjoining contested property. More than that Prince William is a patron of that conservation organization. From Daily Mirror under the main headline of Russia refutes claim cosmonauts wore yellow suits as sign of support to Ukraine. Summary of headline article. The video will autoplay soon 8 cancel the Russian space agency has claimed that the yellow suits worn by three cosmonauts on their mission to the International Space Station was not a reference to Ukraine Russia ridicules claim cosmonauts wore yellow suits as sign of support to Ukraine Russia's space agency has dismissed reports suggesting cosmonauts joining the International Space Station ISS had chosen to wear yellow suits with a blue trim in support of Ukraine. Yesterday three Russian cosmonauts arrived at the International Space Station wearing the colors of the Ukrainian flag. On Saturday afternoon Dmitry Oligovich Rogozin, Director General of National Space Agency Roscosmos since 2018 and a former Deputy Prime Minister claimed the outfits had nothing to do with Ukraine. That's why we had to wear yellow flight suits. Image. Russian Space Agency Roscosmos, A. Russian Space Agency Roscosmos, A. Three Russian cosmonauts who just docked with the ISS arrive in Ukrainian yellow. Quote. From the sun under the main headline of two-week heat wave on the way. Summary of headline article. A heat wave is set to scorch the UK for two weeks in April as Brits ready for glorious 18C sunshine. This weekend. And the unseasonably fine weather will continue into Sunday before Brits are set bask in a fortnight of even hotter temperatures in April. It's because we've got high pressure bringing wall-to-wall -wall sunshine for much of the UK today. The pleasant conditions are due to the jet stream tracking well to the north of the UK. Letting high pressure dominate from the east. The Met Office said. The area of high pressure is centered over Denmark. Which could see its highest pressure record ever. 
from Metro under the main headline of four U.S. soldiers killed in plane crash during NATO exercise. In Norway. Summary of headline article. The plane involved in the crash was AV-22B Osprey. Belonging to the U.S. Marine Corps. Picture. U.S. Marines. SWNS, 2nd Marine Expeditionary Force. Four U.S. soldiers have died in a plane crash during a NATO training exercise in Norway. The country's Prime Minister has said. The training exercise was unrelated to the war in Ukraine. Jonas Garstor tweeted that the soldiers were killed in the crash on Friday night. The soldiers participated in the NATO exercise cold response, Mr. Garstoria said. At the time of the incident, it had been taking part in a NATO training exercise in Nordland County, northern Norway. From I News under the main headline of sacked P&O offices offered £20,000 bonus to take old jobs by firm providing replacement crews. Summary of headline article. I understands that Glasgow-based firm Clyde Marine Recruitment are also hiring workers to cover the mass sacking of P&O Ferries staff. In an email to all P&O Ferries workers, the ferry operator's CEO Peter Hebelthwaite defended the mass redundancies as a difficult but necessary decision. P&O Ferries had entered into a new partnership with International Ferry Management. IFM. To provide new crews for affected ships. He said. Conservative Party Chairman Oliver Dowden today said there was revulsion about P&O ferries. Actions in sacking 800 staff. It comes after Mr. Shapps and Business Secretary Kwasi Kwarteng warned P&O ferries could be facing an unlimited fine and be stripped of government contracts. Many thanks for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe and click the bell to get your daily notifications. Have a great day. Thank you for your support. Goodbye.